Hello friends, welcome back. If you want to know what is a sprint burn-up chart in Agile and how to understand and interpret the chart, then you are watching the right video. Let us consider a sprint backlog which has four user stories and for each user story, story points have been assigned. Totally, there are 20 story points. The sprint start date is 1st March 2022 and the sprint end date is 8th March 2022. So the sprint duration will be one week. Number of working days is five days, excluding Saturday and Sunday. Friends, to know more about the user stories and the story point estimation, please watch the related videos in my channel. I will also put the links in the description. This sprint can be measured using two important charts. One is the burn up chart. Another one is the burn down chart. In burn up chart, the count starts from zero and goes on adding up to the target number. Here, the target number is the total number of story points in the sprint, that is 20. But in the burn down chart, the count starts from the target number 20 and goes on reducing up to zero. In this video, we will only learn about the burn up chart. Now, let us see how the burn up chart will be generated to this print with all the possible scenarios based on the team performance. The Y axis represents the story points and the X axis represents days or time. As you can see, the sprint starts on 1st March 2022 and ends on 8th March 2022. 5th March and 6th March is not mentioned in the graph because it is Saturday and Sunday. The sprint burn up chart will have three lines. One is the guideline which represents how the team is expected to work. Another line is the actual line which represents how the team is actually working. Another line is work planned line which represents the total number of story points planned for the sprint. In this case, it is 20 story points. The work planned line will never change until and unless there is a reduction or addition on the total number of story points. In this video, the guideline will be gray in color, the actual line will be blue in color and the work plan line will be red in color. If the actual line is above the guideline, that means the team is working more than expected. If the actual line is below the guideline, that means team is working lesser than expected. The formula for the guideline is total number of story points in the sprint divided by total number of working days in the sprint. In our case, it is 20 divided by 5 is equals to 4. That means the guideline suggests that every day the team has to complete or burn up 4 story points to successfully complete all the user stories in the sprint. As you can see, on the first day of the sprint, the story points is zero. And later, every day, four points are equally completed or burned up so that finally it completes 20 story points on the last day of the sprint. Now, let us see how the actual line looks for different scenarios based on the team performance. In scenario one, let us say that the team works exactly as per the guideline. That means, as you can see, the team will burn up or complete exactly four story points every day so that they complete all the 20 story points by the end of the sprint. Here, the actual line completely covers the guideline. In this case, there are no spillover of the user stories. That means, the team completes all the user stories successfully in the sprint. So, no action is required to be taken in this scenario. Now, let us see another scenario where the team works slower initially but joins the guideline couple of days before the end of the sprint. As you can see, on the first day of the sprint, the team burns up or completes only two story points. On the second day of the sprint, the team completes three story points. So, by the end of the second day, the team totally completes five story points. But as per the guideline, the team should have been completed eight story points. At any day of the sprint, if the total number of story points completed by the team 
is lesser than that of the guideline, then the actual line will be below the guideline. That means the team is working slower than the guideline. And on the third day, the team burns seven story points and joins the guideline. And later, on the fourth and the fifth day, the team equally completes or burns up four story points so that the team completes all the 20 story points by the end of the sprint. The reason for the slow progress of the team initially could be something like emergency leave of a team member, minor scope change or minor technical uncertainties. But since the team joins the guideline, Couple of days before the end of the sprint, the team could complete all the user stories without much stress. That means there is no spillover of the user stories. So, no action is required to be taken in this scenario. Let us see another scenario where the team works slow initially but joins the guideline on the last day of the sprint. As you can see, on the first day of the sprint, the team burns up or completes only one story point. On the second day of the sprint, the team completes two story points. On the third day of the sprint, the team completes three story points. On the fourth day of the sprint, the team completes five story points. As you can see, by the end of the fourth day, the team is completed totally 11 story points. But as per the guideline, the team should have been completed 16 story points. Now, on the last day of the sprint, the team will push their limits and work extra hours to complete or burn up the 9 story points so that all the 20 story points will be finished by the end of the sprint. In this case also, though team could manage to complete all the user stories, but lot of stress was created. The reason for this could be scope change, technical uncertainties, lack of understanding of the requirement by the team, lack of information in the user stories, emergency leaves of a team members. So, action is required to make sure that this kind of issues are taken care and resolved so that the upcoming sprints will go smooth without much stress to the team. Now, let us see another scenario where the team could not complete or burn up all the 20 story points. As you can see, on the first day of the sprint, the team completes only one story point. On the second day of the sprint, the team completes two story points. On the third day of the sprint, the team completes three story points. On the fourth day of the sprint, the team completes four story points. And on the last day of the sprint, the team completes five story points. So, as you can see, Finally, by the end of the sprint, the team could manage to complete only 15 story points, which means that the team could not complete all the user stories in the sprint, which is known as the spillover of the user stories. So, this is a major issue. The reason for this could be anything like major scope change, major technical uncertainties, lack of understanding of the requirement by the team, lack of information in the user stories, emergency leaves of the team member. So, action is required to make sure that this kind of issues are taken care and resolved so that in the upcoming sprints, the team can successfully complete all the user stories. Now, let us see another scenario where the team works faster initially but joins the guideline couple of days before the end of the sprint. As you can see, on the first day of the sprint, the team burns up or completes six story points. On the second day of the sprint, the team completes five story points. So, by the end of the second day, the team completes totally 11 story points. But as per the guideline, the team should have been completed only eight story points. At any day of the sprint, if the total number of the story points completed by the team is greater than the guideline, then the actual line will be above the guideline. That means the team is working faster than the guideline. And on the third day of the sprint, the team completes one story point and joins the guideline. And later on fourth and the fifth day, the team equally 
completes four story point so that the team could burn or complete all the 20 story points by the end of the sprint working on less complex user stories on the initial days of the sprint could be one of the main reason for the team to work faster on the first few days but since the team joins the guideline couple of days before the end of the sprint the team could successfully complete all the user stories in the sprint so no action is required to be taken in this scenario let us see another scenario where the team works slower initially and later works faster but joins the guideline before the end of the sprint as you can see in the graph on the first and the second day the actual line is below the guideline that means the team is working slower than the guideline on the third and the fourth day the actual line is above the guideline that means the team is working faster than the guideline as you can see on the end of the fourth day the team joins the guideline and later on the last day the team burns up or completes four story point so that by the end of the sprint team completes all the 20 story points so no action is required to be taken in this scenario let us see another scenario where the team works faster initially and later works slower but joins the guideline before the end of the sprint as you can see in the graph on the first two days the actual line is above the guideline that means the team is working faster than the guideline on the third and the fourth day the actual line is below the guideline that means the team is working slower than the guideline as you can see on the end of the fourth day the team joins the guideline and later on the last day the team burns up or completes four story points and finally by the end of the sprint the team completes all the 20 story points so no action is required to be taken in this scenario let us see another scenario where the team completes or burns up all the 20 story points couple of days before the end of the sprint as you can see on the first day of the sprint the team completes eight story points on the second day of the sprint the team completes seven story points and on the third day of the sprint the team completes five story points that means the team completes all the 20 story points two days before the end of the sprint now this is the issue now since the team cannot sit idle for two days it may take extra user stories from the backlog into the sprint but taking extra user stories in the middle of the sprint is not the right approach the reason for this issue could be something like team capacity was underestimated in the team planning more story points was assigned to user stories than required so action is required to make sure that this kind of issues are taken care and resolved in the upcoming sprints let us see another scenario where the team adds more story points in between the sprint though the addition or the reduction of the story points is not recommended in between the sprint but due to some unavoidable circumstances the team will come across this kind of scenario as you can see on the work plan line the plan number of story points was 20 before starting the sprint but after completing one day of the sprint the team adds five story points so here the work plan line goes up by five points now the total number of story points in the sprint is 25 the guideline will recalculate and adjust based on the number of story points added to the sprint so that the guideline and the work plan line will join together exactly at the end of the sprint the actual line will continue based on the team performance let us see another scenario where the team reduces story points in between the sprint as you can see here on the work plan line the plan number of story point was 20 before starting the sprint but after completing one day of the sprint the team reduces five story points so here the work plan line goes down by five points 
Now the total number of story points in this print is 15. The guideline will recalculate and adjust based on the number of story points reduced in this print. So that both the guideline and the work plan line joins together exactly at the end of this print. The actual line will continue based on the team performance. Now I will also show you way to check the burn up chart in Jira tool. This is the Jira tool. Here click on the project drop down. Select the project from the project list. Then click on reports from the left hand navigation. Here please click on burn up chart. This is the burn up chart. Here the work plan line is also called work scope line. But as I mentioned earlier the work scope line will not change for any scope changes in the sprint. Instead, it will change only if the story points are added or reduced in the sprint. Because many times a team may consider the scope change without changing the story points. Here also you can see that the guideline is vertical or straight in two places. That is because those days are non-working days. That is Saturday and Sunday. You can also select the sprint from the drop down for which you wish to see the chart. Depending on the team performance, each sprint chart varies. Thank you friends. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.